my dear this is jal kumar sen and uh, today's topic is direction yeah this is the question which question right now in front of you this question already asked in gate previous year paper so today in this video tutorial i am going to share with you how to solve this question okay i hope you are getting my point and uh, i hope you have been watching my videos related to gate right if you are not watching keep watching you will get lot of new concepts new questions as well as new topics those are really important for it okay so let's go for it so in this question first of all to solve this type of problem i mean direction questions you required a basic approach of height and distance height and distance basic approach of directions north east south west okay and uh, if you have basic approach and if you have if, if you will practice a little bit uh, i mean two three problems then uh, most of the cases i did analysis on this students can able to solve the questions quite easily okay so in this problem this problem is not that much simple because they have used all concepts here if you understand this problem then uh 90% chances is there to solve the problem 90% chance is there okay uh so i hope you wanted to solve the problem right so first of all whenever you were seeing height and distance problem you make a diagram like this or a, what you called north is south west okay so based on the questions we will draw a diagram on this on this diagram okay so what it state that mr vivek okay works 6 meters northeast northeast 6 meters sorry it's 6 meters eh? okay 6 meters northeast then turns now here we have to again notify something that is east west north south that's why we will not make any mistake every end point every on the every end point notify like this that's why you will not make mistake of analyzing the direction okay get my point actually this point here this point will also get this right now what state that and work 6 meters southeast southeast is this side are you getting my point southeast 6 meters the same distance he works this side and this side now it state that both uh, at 60 degrees to east so 60 degree 60 degree and this side will be 60 degree because in any triangle total angle is 180 so 60 60 60 3 or 60 60 60 degrees okay now next question next what is state he further moves now here see east north south he stated that he further moves 2 meters south so he moves 2 meters south okay just write down like this that's why i will not make mistake while solving it okay next and 4 meters west 4 meters west okay what is the straight distance in meters between the point he started from and point he finally reached so he reached to this point we have to find out this distance just draw a straight line it will be very helpful so from here to here distance is 2 meter all right because from here to here 2 meter we need to find out from here to here suppose that this is a this is b this is c I'll draw a line here also okay now we having two at actually i have drawn little bit wrong but yeah this triangle and this triangle both are, both are of same size right so if i i'll find out this distance and this distance both are same how i can able to find out simple this is b this is h so we know that b by h is equal to cos theta b is what we have to find out h is given 6 meter 
cos theta cos 60 degree now b by 6 is equal to cos 60 means 1 by 2 so b is equal to 6 by 2 is equal to 3 meters so this distance is this distance is from to here 3 meters okay now one thing you need to clear here also 3 meters now from here to here 3 meters okay all right are you getting my point from here to here we know that this distance is 4 total distance is 4 this one is 1 so from here to here if I am talking about this is a triangle of ABC then BC is equal to 2 and we also know that AC is equal to 2 okay now 2 right now what we have to find out AV is equal to what we need to find out AV is what till now I hope you understood it right if you did not understand then do one thing just go back and watch it again i don't need to tell you again you can do it and of course if you'll do it till now you need to understand the thing because what exactly right now i am to i'm going to follow the step that is pretty simple probably you have gone through several times till now several times because in heightened distance we have gone through the the formula which formula i need to use to solve the problem okay so what you need to do we need to find out its answer right so what is the answer once we will find out value of a b we will get the right answer so according to pythagoras theorem you know pythagoras theorem probably you can remember that theorem that theorem is you know, it's just amazing theorem we have to use that so according to the, that theorem we can say that h square is equal to p square plus b square now here a b is equal to h and a c is equal to p and b c is equal to b so a c is equal to we got 2 b c is equal to 2 and we have to find out this h all right so p is equal to 2 square b is equal to 2 square so 2 square 4 2 square 4 is equal to 8 so finally what we got h square is equal to 8 therefore h is equal to root under 8 so 4 into 2 and 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 to 2 root 2 is the right answer here so what we got the distance between the uh, what is the straight distance distance this is a straight distance in meters between the point he started he has started from point B and point he finally reached he has reached to a point from distance a to B is 2 root 2 so the right answer is here a the right answer is a all right so this is about the problem of direction well of course i i have been making you understand that's why this question has been taking about uh, eight seven eight minutes but yes if you are solving and if you have prepared yourself to solve it you have gone through you know uh, basic approach you are having and yes if you are solving this type of problem especially in aptitude just like blood relation and direction problem then another thing a probability these i mean for, uh, to solve problem from these topics even time work you need to do analysis practically if you can think or imagine practically then solving problems or aptitude problems from this topic is just like that it's really simple yeah uh, this question is not that much easy as maybe you are thinking or what you are thinking i don't know what is your level even i don't know have you you have solved problem before this problem related to this topic i don't know but if i hope you understood the topic that is uh, that is i can i can guess i, I cannot be sure but yes if you got it question got the question then i will recommend you solve few other problems related to this topic only from any book from any topic i mean any book or maybe from internet you can get questions and definitely you can solve the problem right 
So this is about it. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye.